Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show you guys how I customize my first silkstone into Cruella de Vil. So I actually got this doll for my friends for Christmas. However, I did link them the eBay seller, so there's no surprise there. <laughs> she is the shop girl Silkstone Barbie, and she came out in 2008 alongside other Parisian-inspired dolls. I thought she would be a perfect candidate for Cruella de Vil because she already has black and white hair. I was quite disappointed that she was not in the best condition even though the seller stated that she was almost in mint condition. I just looked on the bright side and it actually gave me more confidence to work on her without being too scared of further damage. I literally thought to myself, what could go wrong? And that's when everything went south. As you can see, she is not even boxed properly and her face and hair were so oily and sticky, it was really really gross. Clearly, she was not given the best home, so it's my job to give her a new life, even though it's an evil one. She also had some staining because of her dress, which is very inevitable. This is something that is quite difficult to prevent and I also broke her neck peg no! when I removed the head. Let's just say that this was a, such a rocky start. I was quite shocked that her dress was sewn onto her. I was so discombobulated trying to look for some snaps or velcro, but it seems that they wanted to have a seamless look. I literally had to pry her out of her dress and I think I'll add a snap to this myself which is a very very bold statement right there i don't know if i can do it but you know that's for future projects we will focus on problems one by one <laughs> anyway let's go ahead and give her some spa time so i can have a clean base to work on tomorrow I want to reroute her first with more white hair. I do this prior to the repaint so I don't destroy the face up. I just use this rerouting tool I got from dollyhair.com and as always, this is not my forte. I broke 5 needles by doing this because the silkstone heads are actually very very hard. They're not like regular Barbie doll heads that are very soft. These ones are very hard that even if you put them under hot water, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> To secure all the hairs inside, I use Fabri-Tac and I let it dry overnight. Now it's time for her face up. For dolls that I'm not familiar with, I usually test the acetone on the back of her head to make sure it doesn't melt the material prior to wiping her factory paint off. And I think we're good to go. I'll be using my usual materials which is listed down below in the description box to give her more of a Cruella de Vil look. I really admire the silkstone faces but it makes it so hard to completely change the eye shape. My main goal for this repaint is to give her more of an evil look that still retains the aloof likeness to her. Cruella is actually supposed to have green eyeshadow from the animated version. However, I wanted her face to stand out behind her veil, so I gave her green eyes instead. 
I also gave her purple eyeshadow because it usually looks good with green and if it worked for Maleficent, it'll work for Cruella. As usual, I layer the colors to make them more vibrant and opaque. It was really really fun giving her this makeover because one, she deserves it, and two, I usually love this makeup look, and sometimes the plain and simple iry paints makes me feel like I'm not doing anything to the doll. Like I feel like I'm not changing anything, or I'm not giving my best, or I don't know, that's just my feeling with it. It's always a go big or go home for me, <laughs> and clearly it's always go big. And to complete the look, I will add a cute beauty mark under her left eye and add gloss to her lips. Now let's go ahead and dress her up. This is the live action version of Cruella and I really really connect with this look because of how it resembles 90s Mugler so much. And I just love the tiny waist, the exaggerated shoulders, the pointy heels. I love everything. I love how dramatic everything was. So I had another hiccup with this project because her right hand is actually posed to hold her waist and her thumb is sticking out. The fabric for this dress was not flexible at all, so I had to loosen up some stitches and sew her sleeves closed. Now one tip that I can share, I do this all the time for skirts and peplums, but to exaggerate her waist and hips a bit further, I stuff the bottom of her top to give the hourglass shape. And you can use cotton balls, you can use those pom-pom balls, and over here I'm just using um, tissue. So literally you can stuff it with anything. Now going back to that broken neck peg, it was officially damaged. She has a very different neck configuration than most Barbies. I took a plastic tube and filled it with wire and I rolled tape to ensure it's snug fit with the neck hole. The silk stones don't have the drastic posing abilities to start with, so this wasn't that different and it actually held up pretty well. Now that's taken care of, let's finish her off with the right accessories.
to top it all off, her obnoxious veiled hat. Cruella, your uh, how do you say intern? Uh, Rarity is uh, how do you say waiting for you? Why do you say how do you say before words you clearly know how to say? Let her in. Uh, um, uh, how do you say we? Good morning, Cruella. Rarity, darling, come, come in. How long have you been working for me? Uh, two months last December. And you've done wonderful work at that time. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from Your you. Your work is fresh and clean, unfettered, unpretentious. It sells. And one of these days, my competitors are going to suss out who you are, and they're going to try and steal you away. Oh, no. I only designed for you and my friends back in Ponyville. Oh, you have talent, darling. Don't squander it on them. I received your latest sketch. And though it was beautiful, darling, I made one small change. This is what I want my latest coat to be made in. I want a coat to be completely pony hair. Make it happen, Rarity. Make it happen. Oh no! I can't allow you to hurt those innocent creatures. I just... I can't. I... I quit. I... No! I will not be working for you no longer. Oh, Rarity. You disappoint me. Thank you. 